guys, it's Come Follow Me in Quarantine Week 6, and excuse the raindrops, but I'm recording this outside because this is literally the only quiet place in my house. <laughs> the girls wanted to say <laughs> The girls wanted to say hi, as you can see, like me, they're total social butterflies, so quarantine has not been kind to their personalities, the poor dears. And it must not have been kind to me either, because Natalie, the littlest one, came up to me today, like just barely, and she's like, you need this. And she handed me a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> so this week's been a struggle. <laughs> and if you follow my account, you know it's been a big struggle, but I had to show off the sweetest shirt I got. So I made it to your friend on a Happy Mail page whose son happened to have cancer. I don't know if she wants me to share her name, but she's just been such a blessing, and it's been awesome to know her. And I made this post, and it's like, comment three things I love. And I think she said, faith, family, and unicorns. And I'm like, man alive, that's awesome. I need a shirt that says that. And look what she sent me. <laughs> Tell me that's not the coolest shirt you've ever seen. <coughs> Don't worry. I'm working with immunology and pulmonology for this cough. It's not corona. It's just my body sucks corona. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the lesson. I've thought a lot about this one. It was kind of hard for me to decide what I wanted to, like, talk about. But, okay. so, basically, uh, this whole lesson was about a sermon that King Benjamin gave and how it just, like, trans the words he said transformed his people and, most importantly, made them want to change. And that really, like, really stuck out to me. <laughs> so sorry for all this coughing. Because I am one who is pretty stuck in my ways like I'm great with change like if people are like hey let's fly to Barbados tomorrow I'd be like awesome I'm down and totally forget I'm a sick person but like when my GI asked me to quit chocolate lemons tomatoes onions and all this good stuff to make my stomach better I basically said no before he finished the sentence <laughs> and I still eat tomatoes and onions like it is a religious like requirement <laughs> I'm really bad with change. I'm really bad at changing my ways, but I think God allows us to grow the most through change. Whether it's change that we choose to do or change that is inflicted upon us. And I'd like to kind of talk today about how God changes us through change that is inflicted upon us, if that makes sense. So it made me think, uh, back before I had gastroparesis and I was mainly just troubles with my joints, my lungs, my heart, which, you know, isn't any problems at all. <laughs> I was praying to Heavenly Father nightly, asking him how I can be a better person and to make me a better person. Because I just didn't feel enough. I didn't feel like I was doing enough. I didn't feel like I was serving enough. And then a month later, I began the conditions of a life-threatening uh GI condition that literally almost killed me <laughs> and made it so, you know, the whole oral nutrition wasn't a thing for about three years, but I look back in the changes that I gained through that experience and I'm still learning through my experience of having that disease and having diseases in general has made me into such a better person. So that prayer was answered in the most painful way possible. But it was answered. And the thing is, God knows what he's doing. My health has taught me that, especially when I have no clue what is going on and I'm sad and I'm scared and I'm lost, those are the times where God's hand is most in my life, crafting the masterpiece he wants me to be. <laughs> and with this quarantine, I think that change is happening. Like, for the rest of the world, and especially for me, like, personally, I realized through this quarantine... I needed a gratitude makeover. Like, I took going to church for granted. I took being able to drive down south and see my grandpa for granted. I took walking into Costco for granted. And this quarantine has made me realize that human suffering is a lot more, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, mutual and, like, common. And we're all kind of going through the same thing, even though we go through different stuff. Like, especially lately before this, I've kind of hated healthy people <laughs> Sorry to all y'all healthy people out there, but I would see you guys doing your plank challenges and deciding which scholarships you want to do and what house you want to buy. And I was just sitting here trying not to die. And I'm like, ugh, healthy people have it so easy. But I guess through this quarantine, everyone's been more open with their struggles. And I've realized 
that everyone is going through something hard. And it's crazy how every person you know is going through an insanely hard thing. There's this quote by uh, President Eyring that states, uh, treat everyone you meet as though they're in a crisis and you will be right 90% of the time. <laughs> anyway, this is, this is a hot mess and I'm sorry. But I just loved that. And like... As we're all kind of mutually coming together against this common enemy and sharing our struggles, I think we're seeing the good in humanity, and I think the virus is causing us to be grateful for the small things. Like, I was watching Justin Baldoni's Instagram Live story, and he was sharing a statistic that uh, it's showing that a majority of fathers with young children are actually having improved family relationships right now. Because for the first time, they're able to be at home with their kids, at home with their family, and, like, get to know their kids, help their wife. Like, family relationships are improving. And the world, I think, is improving and falling apart at the same time. Sure, we can't leave the house without risk of death, but we're learning how to love each other, and we're learning how to care deeper, and we're learning that change can bring about beautiful things. So, for this Mosh Podge in the Rain Week 6 Spiritual Sunday, I have a challenge for you. (laughs) 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 Sorry. I want you to see how you can grow through what you're going through. How this quarantine can help you change for the better and grow closer to God. Whether it's realizing, hey, I need to be kinder to myself. There was this uh, scripture in this lesson that said to not walk, run quicker than you have strength. And I'm really guilty of that. I always think that I need to be Oprah and saving the world and doing all these things that like healthy normal people can do or even healthy normal people can do. But God knows our abilities and he meets us where we're at. So if you're struggling with self-love, self-acceptance, maybe this coronavirus, you can, it can help you learn how to be kinder to yourself. Maybe, like me, you needed a gratitude adjustment, and you need to just, like, notice the gratitudes in every day. A big thing that helped me is, like, writing the gratitudes or stating the gratitudes as I saw them. I know that's really weird, but I went through a period of my life where I just thought everything sucked. And when I started, like, taking pictures or writing down or verbalizing those gratitudes, it changed everything. Or maybe the change you need is, like, to put down your phone And to realize those people who live in your house are actually pretty nice. (laughs) I know. uh, So even though uh, some changes in our lives may be just a cause from, like, something we choose to do, like, when someone speaks and it just touches our hearts, like King Benjamin did to his people and we decide to change, and some change is forced upon us, like illness or this coronavirus or death or divorce or all this other stuff. We can choose to change. We can choose to grow closer to God. We can choose to grow through what we go through instead of being weighed down. Like, a flower is a perfect metaphor. You get buried in dirt, but bloom forward anyway. So that is my lesson for this week. I hope you all have an amazing Sunday. I'm sorry. These have been my only vlogs lately. I just haven't had a lot of energy, but I've had a lot of fun doing these. So I hope it's helped bring a little church or just a little spiritualness to your Sunday. Uh, Thank you all for the love and support. Thank you again for this amazing shirt. I freaking love this shirt. (laughs) And I think me and my sister might do a question and answer vlog soon, so I might be making a post for that. Uh, Stay strong, grow through what you go through, and as always, smile. Mm -hmm.